What's up, guys? It's your boy Texas coming through with the Sempra Invicta versus Night Eagle recap. This is our uh, first Elite War. We've been talking about doing one for a while, but see why I finally pulled the trigger on one. And everybody from SI had a good time. And Night Eagle is always a good opponent. They don't have no problem arranging. Always a classy war. Our uh, Town Hall 9s came up and helped us out. Instead of just taking the war off, a lot of them came and tried to help us on the Town Hall 11s. So, but all in all, it was a really fun war. And hopefully not our last. You know, we're not going to make a big splash in Elite now, but you know, something fun to do besides doing mixed wars all the time. Hop up into Elite, arrange here and there. Have some good times. Let's see. Uh, this was a uh, no minor war. Um, all drag scouts. So basically a hit rate war. We won this war with 12 triples. And I think Night Eagle had 7. And I think it was 5, 6 wars ago. We've had a non-stop tough war schedule going on. The... Um, crazy thing is the very next war we arranged with their uh, mixed clan uh, town hall mw and we lost i forgot the exact triple count but it wasn't close i think we we're off by five six triples it, it was a lot it wasn't one of our good showings for sure so i will say uh, i was impressed with uh, their wanting to arrange back to back with both clans not a lot of clans will do that not a lot of clans will arrange you know they'll always say they'll arrange and then you know something will come up or they just won't arrange at all so I do like that and I'm looking forward to uh, arranging with them in the future so but this one it was a lot of lay low in this one I'm not for sure if we had a hog um I'm not doing all of the 12 replays, just for time-wise. So, I think it will mostly all lay low. So, let's see. Now, one thing, uh, since I've came back and started trying to get back into uh, attacking on Clash, is the healer nerf that has been killing me on my queen charges. You get into the base and you know you're you're working it and usually before your healers will stay up your queen will stay up now queen's always dying because two or three healers get took out with bombs and it is just annoying you know they say it's going to be tougher i mean when you're when you're basically charging the queen into the base there's no way to avoid those bombs those bombs are always going to get the healers and it's just stupid in my opinion but classic supercell move you know, they do something like that that's really, how do you say, um, controversial. You know, where everybody is up in arms about it and don't like it. Then they always pull other shit. Like this time, they did the healer nerf and then they did the mod bands. And yet, everybody worried about that. Everybody laughing, everybody pissed in this. And everybody forgot about the healer nerf. Don't worry about over here, you know. You do something over here and you look over here. It's a classic magic trick. And everybody fell for it. Nobody bitches about healer's nerfs no more. But I am. Fuck that. Healer nerf sucks. So, you know, we're making do with it. But, damn, it sucks. And then they nerfed the miners a little bit. That didn't do a damn thing. Miners are still sane. OP as fuck. You can triple with them all day. So, let's see what they're doing. They're supposed to come out with an update sometime this month. You know, I know this is probably like a week or two old, this video, and I'm barely doing it now, but they're supposed to come out with an update mid-September, and it's already past mid-September, so I think the uh, sneak peek should be out this coming up week, at least maybe the next week we'll find out what the hell they got going on but they said a huge update 
Let's see if it's any good or not. No telling. We might get um, level eight barch. <laughs> yeah, get that, and then you know they're gonna come out with new AD levels and new Tesla levels soon. The thing that we need the most would be new CC level and new Army Camp level, but yeah, you know they'll never do that. They'll pick uh, level eight Barch and uh, level six Pekka, cause you know they like go white. <laughs> okay, let's get into some replays here. See, starts off with the Queen Walk. She's gonna bang around up there. Drops the rage. Got a lot of targets. Targeted the AD. Let's see. She's gonna work her way in there. She's gonna get that expo, that queen, that cannon. So with a queen walk, she got the queen, AD, CC, and a whiz tower. That's not bad. Another rage down. Minion to back up the queen when the pups pop. Now he starts the uh, lava loon. Queen's still working her way. I think she's going to work her way down around and get that other AD and that other inferno, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That eagle, I swear that eagle loves to target that king. <laughs> All the time. That's a triple. Okay, let's see what the next one's like. Okay, another queen walk, this time with the Grand Warden. Uses that single bowler up there and a minion to funnel, which is a pretty good value. A wall break in. Broken a two compartment to a wall breaker. That's nice. Don't know if he meant to do that or not. Rage for the queen. Mm, Lava Loon in the CC. That's kind of old school. A lot of people now are running Baby Drags in the CC. I mean, you can kind of switch it up. You can stay Baby Drags Valks. Baby Drag Witches, Baby Drag Gobs, Baby Drag Wiz. You know, I've seen so many different variations of all the wars we've had from different clans in there. I mean, there ain't really much you can do. It's kind of just a hit or miss, figure out which one. Everybody switches up. You don't know who's using what, or even if they are using one, hell, they'll probably use three one and three the other, and just a guessing game. This one, if y'all saw before, you could have picked off almost all the ADs with just maybe one or two bowlers. That's how the new bases are coming nowadays. You see um, a lot of uh, drag attacks and baby drag attacks in uh, this now because everybody's putting their ADs outside. I wonder if it's this war or another war. We had a... Uh, one of our hitters named Jeff did a all baby drag, not all baby drag, but a lot baby drag of attack. I think it was like 17 of them. It was pretty sweet. It's not the first. If I'm not mistaken, the first time I seen it was a dark DP. If I'm not mistaken, I think they were the first ones. I really don't want to say because I don't remember and people get mad if you say somebody else did it. So... It was somebody in the TWC that did one the first time, and everybody was like, damn. So, let's see. Loons coming in with the lava, the big tank. Lava Loon is OP now because they haven't gave us new air defense levels. Once new air defense levels come and new leaf blower come, it's going to get a little nerf in it. Kind of like hogs. Hogs used to be able to do work. And now at Town Hall 11, I mean, they're really hard. If you ain't, if you don't have a good raid plan, you know, the hogs can die quick. It's not like it was when the first Valk meta came out. 
See Shubalu starts off with the uh, Queen Grand Warden walk. Raise down quick because all the DPS there. That's his archers and boulders, you know, cleaning up trash buildings. Wall broken. He's going straight for that. Them two whiz towers, expos, and eagle. See, this is type of attacks I like. You know, you, you got all kind of troops. You got your healers with the heroes. You got your king with the bowlers, the kill squad. Then you got your lavas and loons with minions as cleanup. You know, that's a multi phase attack right there. So it's a lot better than when you see a lot of people just running 48 miners, you know, seven miners in the CC or. 27 bowlers and five healers with a golem and a CC. So it actually takes a little bit of skill to do that right there. It's a lot easier if it would have been miners instead of lava loon, but hey, you just gotta kind of work with it. So hey, a triple's a triple, right? As long as you can get that three star, don't matter how you do it. So. Let's see, this should be the last one in this recap. This is kind of spread open base. I'm not used to seeing this design. This reminds me of a Town Hall 9 designs where you can easily walk a lot of it. So, but of course we're not used to mixed wars, so this could be a norm up there. Oh, I mean elite wars. Sorry, I said mix. So, let's see. Lava Loon will come in and clean everything up I mean that queen just basically took out two infernos that's actually a pretty damn good raid right there queen walked in took out infernos Lava Loon just cleaning everything up and if he actually would have he could have took that AD out with a single bowler well, he sent a single hog in right there <laughs> anyways guys I'm back doing recaps so expect me it's your boy Texas signing out